Because look, Aten, Aten was a god in Egypt or whatever. They got worship. They got lost in the light, which is the information the people really revered these gods, right? They speaking about androgyny and all of that when they talking about plants the whole time. Them Babylonian guys with the pine cone, they really, that's not a pine cone, right? Even Aten right here. Aten is an oat. The old English use Aten as a plural form for oats, which is a grain or a seed. And that's why Aten has this hat on. Look like he got on different hats and there's different different ones, right? He's really portraying a stigma. He holding two, he holding pollen grains or sperm. He's holding sperm, two seeds, which Conate with like the cones of your eyes, right? The, your cones and your rods and your eyes. Look what this say. Allied in origin or nature. Born or produced at the same time. This is why you can't speak on a first or a last. You see it says gene, give birth, beget. They've been tampering with the the genosium. The genosium the part that knows which would be like the red the red sacral chakra root the long wavelength the red wave that has that's carrying the information because the ultraviolet light is was powering all other colors you know was was Let me go back to Aten real quick. This is basically what the light doing. The light rays is pulling, pulling the existence through these mammillary bodies through light impulse. You see that the one eye was coming through. We talk about the third eye, but the crown chakra is what's going down in two. It was manipulating the light into the third eye for uh into that lens for better vision for clearer vision for clarity right again Aten is oats 
grains. Right? Oops. I meant to put Babylon gods. Because they doing the same thing with the trees and 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 all of that. Right here, look. This is a pollen basket. The pollen is what's the poles making the two hemispheres of the brain controlling the worlds. When Neo woke up, he was in a carpal or what they call a pistol. He got activated by the light, so to speak. Right? The obvious where the this is these are eggs of the female of the female reproductive system. Lee's The leaves are like the shedding of the main energy, the main, the you, like a tree shedding leaves, and they fall to the ground, and the nutrients of the leaves feed the, feed the soil. See, this is what. This is what Otten was um, depicting. Uh, one of these two, a stamen. Because a stamen is holding the thread. The thread of life. Androsium mean man, right? House or chamber. And cracking this code See look the Arabics Did this The The colonials The Arabics Secret societies All of them Signed these things called charters Or they did They had came up with a thing uh, called papyrus where they could write things into the right you know just because it's on paper makes it legit when everything that was legitimate was spoken like your credit would be what came out your mouth By what you say, we can see the level of equity, right? Why I got to do it like this is because these people came up with things called ciphers and codes and metaphors. So we got to decode it. A cipher means to write in code or occult characters. See, and with them changing and with them um, altering the, the stage, activation, um, timing of amplification, like they can do this in in laboratories now this is CRISPR on a whole nother level actually the beginning of CRISPR then this is their fault they want to come out with the stories or mysteries and they want to act like they don't know what's going on when that wasn't their whole 
that that wasn't their culture because because they introducing a new cult sure they introducing a new cult in the way that these these uh energetic beings are growing into the macro life so if they control it in a thread of life then they for sure making making it a positive that you get disease that your kids don't grow right you receiving false information like all of the shootings going on right now people's cognitive properties ain't aligned to where they understand what's happening they don't know it's a plan because the people that we uh well the the powers that be so called right they don't want us on the same level and that's on purpose it ain't people want to wake up when they want to is they can't wake up or they don't know where to start and that ain't even waking up it's just realizing the reality so the genes are being carried by the genosium the ovary is the enlarged basal portion which contains placentas ridges of tissue bearing one or more ovules megasporangia see because we spores the epidermis is the skin which have holes this is how your, the light is even coming through and the, the plants are green because the crown chakra the heart chakra and the sacral chakra is making a loop connecting all of this making these connections through chemical through chemically induced hair cells they the hair cells are the trichomes which is catching the sense and sensation this is what your our hair do so when we realize we be, we are under attack right now like because ain't nothing good coming out of the life or the culture that they presenting to us. This this God, this, this surrendering, God-worshiping culture, like, it, it, it's, it's doing us no good. So this, this, the, the style, the stigma, and the ovary. Here, let me show you. Here we go. Hold on. No, nah, but this the style, the stigma and the in the ovary here you go the genosium style stigma in the ovary see the ovary is at the bottom as the base as the protector dandelions had the same uh, like structure basal structure and you see around the dandelion it got it has basal leaves around it 
for protection, I guess. It's safe. But look at the 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 stigmas at the top. Style in the center. Ovary at the bottom. The whole time the Masons is speaking in code. They speaking about this code. The binary code, how the zero and one is together always. And it play out in different uh, different variations. So this is why they couldn't even even with them trying to control the population they can't the only thing they can do is try to kill it you know what i mean like they can only only poison it because they notice that they can't even really control what's coming out like the flow of information because it's light you can only you can try to block light but only for so long in this sense the style the style would be the the penis ovary the vagina the stigma the the whole thing where we getting the energy from the stimulator like like um polaris is or the north star or the vega is to the world to the earth this is where again the placenta is stored the places and there's eight of them This is where Neo was at when he woke up in the pistol or the carpal, the car pill. And another thing, the study of pollen is called pelinology, right? The study of dust. Pal is another word for a uh, brother or brighter, which is the that fraternity talk frater. Cause remember, they trying to change the culture, so. They gonna wipe out all of the ancient information, feed you a little bit at a time, but introduce all of the all of the information that that's negative and don't work. So, pelinology. Is literally the study of dust, strew, sprinkle, polino, particles that are strewn, like particles that are strewn. All I can think about is a loom.
backwards or it's a moon. You replace the L with a N, a moon. Where, where the strings is coming down, you intertwining and braiding. This is what, this is how our reality is being. It's really being weaved by the weather and the storms, stirs. Weaving reality into what it is. This is what the plant's doing. And humans can, we can only indulge in it like this. We can't make plants. So with them Babylonian gods, and, and Egyptian and all of them guys was, was was trying to introduce a culture to you because in that time because when they talk about plants and their chemicals they talk about the horticulture the, the type of culture that was And what do hoardy mean? Hoard. Something like hoarder. Pertaining to the culture of gardens. Cultivation of a garden. Hortus. Hortus. Horus. The god Horus. Hortus. See what I'm saying? Grr. To grasp and close. You see what I mean? It, it all got to go back to vegetation, plantation, and the what they call in the plantation was where slaves used to work see and see we and if i say plantation you gonna automatically think oh where slaves used to work no no mm -mm. two how they trying to degrade the plants because them babylonian babylon them hey I'm fucking up their name. They was fucked up. Because they know the humans. It was a lot, a lot of synopsis and connecting going on. Like, look at this face. Like, I cannot shake this face. Like, I look like it's about to be a bull or, a, or something. But where they got the mammillary body at. It's like some flowers is holding that. But then the, the home base for a bean. The home base for a bean that's like would be a plant. Yeah, we, we going through the, all these phases. Yeah, because the human in this auric field is still in a seed. The, seal sti the, the seed still need activating. See, look, the crown, the heart, and the sacral. The, uh, not sacral, but base. 
bass. I didn't even know they call that bass. It only makes sense that the basal root is forming from a basal plant, a base. Because that's where that mint scent. I've been cut. We got we got our lawn business going. So I cut these particular leaves with the weed eater, and I smell mint like it smells so good. Smell hella good. And I was wondering, like, man, what plant is that? Come to find out, it's the basil plant. Because the chemicals in the basil is like a signal. All of the flies and bees are over here by this wasp. The, all of the pollinators are near these basil plants or on them. And that... mammillary body is forming the two hemispheres left and right hemispheres and the fornix is helping you um, see the prism Because your chakras, like I was showing, are certain colors too. And that these chemicals in this, uh, in this dust, right? Hydrofluoric acids. All right, the terms come to you commonly used to refer to a subset of the discipline which is defined as the study of microscopic objects and macro molecular organic organic composition i.e. compounds of carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen two they strip in the nitrogen from look they just named that right nitrogen oxygen not capable of dissolution in hydrochloric or hydrofluoric acids it is a science that studies contemporary and fossil polynomorphs. They said that this dust is everywhere. Everywhere. Look, classic paleontologist analysis particulate samples collected from air water sediments or rocks of any age the condition and identification of those particles organic and inorganic give the paleontologist clues to life environment and energetic conditions that produce them Organic polyanophases consider all the acid insoluble. Yeah, that ain't. Yeah. No, no. What he was saying about nitric acid. Because the lack of nitric acid, like you getting cold, like that ain't good. That ain't good, but the fact that study of dust is called paleontology. And we already, look, Latin, Hortus, look, Horus, Egyptian, Horus, Eye of Horus, it's an eye of a flower because the genosium is is where you get your genes the everything being mixed up in the flower and a flower 
to keep the flow going. See? Pal. Like friends. Friars. Franciscans. Beggars. I everybody in them orders. That big. That beg everybody else to be a part of this order. Forget the natural flowing life. Introduce you to death. Yeah, because I was... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, but like with the loom. But it's like the light coming down from from the light coming down from the sky stars from the portals and assuming bodies and meeting in the middle points in the centers which we call chakras or nucleuses or or uh physical vehicles Or the wheel. Got to control the wheel. This was spurred a moment shit though. So I'm just just going. Just to help us cl clarify some, some stuff. Yeah, Polariton. Boy, these, these people. Oscillations in ionized gases were observed by Tox and Lang Langmuir. Of course. But yeah. We assume in our style and, and eggs and testes and ovaries from plants who place us in the like cause like you see the mammillary bodies right there the orchid flowers still had them in there like that but how they separating them is really like how they separating man and woman Cause like from this, it's like the man and woman are always together. It's like they complementing each other, and we missing that in the macrocosm today. Like in the physical beings, like people people think marriage and all of that, getting the paperwork for legitimacy is something important when they feelings and uh how they feel about a person should override that and we read a lot read a lot of them stories coming up and all of that and uh, it leave us with some type of trauma to where like when we get in that um, similar situation in life and we don't really know how to act on it because a lot of value was lost 
and I'm hoping let me rephrase that and I'm adding value back into the minds of the people all I'm trying to do plus we can't beat what made us we need to get that out of our head right now